a TENS unit is one of the most powerful ways that we know and how to stimulate the vagus nerve. Continuous use of a TENS unit has been shown to improve mood, induce relaxation, and even improve conditions such as anxiety, depression, chronic fatigue syndrome, and more. In today's video, we'll be talking about different options you have in terms of which kind of devices to use, as well as different settings that you can choose from depending on what kind of condition you're trying to treat. But first, if you're new here and you're looking for research-based advice on how to improve your health and heart rate variability, I would love to have you join me as a subscriber. So how exactly does this vagus nerve stimulation work? Well, because the vagus nerve is connected to the ear in three places, we're able to stimulate the vagus nerve via the concha, simba concha, and the tragus. So for the example that I'm using right now, you can see that my red ear clip is inside my simba concha. So that's going to be for the red electrode. It's always going to be inside your left ear. Now for the black wire, if you don't have a modified ear clip the way I do, you would just take this black wire and plug it into the TENS unit pad that comes with your TENS unit. And then you would take this pad and just put it in your upper back near your shoulder like this. You'll know that everything worked, that when you turn on your TENS unit, you'll start feeling a tingling in your ear. Now, in terms of TENS unit settings, a lot of studies were using a pulse width of 200 microseconds and a pulse rate of 25. So that seems like a safe and effective starting point before you start looking at the specific conditions that you're trying to treat and tinkering with the settings from there. Now, of course, double check with your doctor, please, because you are messing with the vagus nerve. And if something goes wrong, it's going to be kind of hard to go back from that. In terms of which devices you can use to perform this TENS unit therapy on your vagus nerve, one of the best options you can do is a regular TENS unit. Just make sure that it's digital so that you can set the threshold settings precisely. When shopping for a TENS unit, you might see a combination option that also offers a microcurrent unit with your TENS unit. And I know that a lot of people use this microcurrent option to stimulate the vagus nerve, which is okay, but the only thing is I just haven't seen enough studies that back up this method's effectiveness. And as a quick side note, I did try a device in the past called the Nuvana Zen. And what would happen is every time I would increase the intensity, at first I wouldn't feel anything. And then all of a sudden I was like, ah, oh my God, my ear is on fire. And eventually I just had to return that device because I didn't want to fry my vagus nerve. With vagus nerve stimulation like this, less is more. Okay, so let's say you got clearance from your doctor and you're ready to start using custom settings for your specific condition. What you would do is you would go to this master list of studies that I found and select one that's specific for your condition. I'll leave a link down below to this master list of studies. For the example we're gonna use, we're gonna use depression. And we can see that the location was on the concha. The pulse width in this example is 0.2 MS, but most likely your TENS unit will not have MS as the setting. It'll have microseconds. So what you would do is you would use a conversion calculator of 0.2 MS to microseconds, and you would see that it converts to 200 microseconds. Uh, here we have 20 hertz. And in terms of how often you were going to do this, you're going to do the continuous setting for 30 minutes twice a day, five days a week for four weeks. So you should also think of this as kind of a long term play. This is not necessarily going to be an instant quick fix or instant results. Now let's take a moment to talk about the intensity of the current. Here it says tolerance threshold, typically between 4 and 6 MA. So let's say you pushed up on the intensity one level and you still didn't feel anything. Okay, that's your sign to push it again. So now you're at intensity level 2. If you felt something and it's barely detectable, great. That is your intensity until further notice. If it hurts like hell, then go back down. And this is going to be the way you're going to determine your optimal intensity. And in terms of timing, start with something like a minute. 
and then do that for a couple of days. Make sure you don't get any side effects or any weirdness. Then start to slowly ramp that up so until you match the time that they used in the study that you want to replicate. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Just make sure to use this powerful technique safely. And I will see you in the next one.